Hello, my name is Dr. Jeff Clayman, and I am here today to give you a quick tutorial on how to make your own face mask or splash shield in under 10 minutes. I went from conception of this design to creation of a prototype in under 10 minutes, and you should be able to do the same at home. Let me go over the materials you'll need to do this. The first thing you'll need is a standard 2 liter soda bottle. Uh, this should be a soda bottle that contains a carbonated beverage. The polycarbonate that is used in uh, the plastic of these bottles is much stronger than a milk bottle or other bottles that do not contain pressurized substances. The second material that you will need is uh, a piece of sponge. Uh, in this particular case I used a sheetrock sponge, although you could use any sponge that you have present in your house which would work just fine. A third thing you will need are five wire ties that are connected in, uh, from end to end just as this, as I show here. You could also, this is used for the headband and you could also use a shoelace or you could use an elastic material band uh, if you have that available at your location. The tools that are required are a standard pair of scissors, a small hammer of any type, a standard hot glue gun, and also a small punch. In this particular case, this is a 7 16 inch metal punch, and I have a small piece of wood here for doing my punching. The first thing you'll need to do is cut the bottle. The bottle, of course, uh, what you need to do is try to preserve as much of the bottle material as possible with your cutting. In my particular case, I used a shop bandsaw to cut the bottle. However, you could uh, just as easily use a serrated bread knife, which will cut this plastic uh, very easily. Uh, the knife could be warm somewhat, and that will make the plastic easier to cut. Uh, the first cut should be at the bottom of the bottle when you wish, want to remove uh, this six-pointed section at the bottom. And then uh, at the top of the bottle, you uh, need to remove the cap, but you want to preserve as much of the curvature as possible. This will function uh, for the lower aspect of the mask, uh, which will provide splash coverage from below. Uh, so it's important to preserve as much of the bottle as possible. This is an example of an ideal cut showing uh, that uh, I have eliminated the bottom of the bottle and actually have preserved much of the curvature at the top. Uh, once you have cut the bottle, uh, or both sides of the bottle, you then use a pair of scissors and cut across the length of the bottle so that you can open up the bottle such as this. At the top of uh, the bottle, you then uh, need to uh, glue a piece of sponge, approximately one inch uh, per side, in this manner, as shown here. Once uh, you have attached the sponge, you then uh, need to punch two holes, one uh, on the upper left corner and one in the upper right corner. Through those two holes, you then need to pass your wire ties or uh, uh, or uh, if you wish to use a shoelace or elastic material, you can uh, slide those materials through these holes as well. And you wind up with a mask where uh, you have your foam attached to the polycarbonate shield and these wire ties which function as a band which is now fully adjustable. And as you can see here, the mask has good fitting and provides coverage from the top uh, from uh, the width of the foam band and also coverage from below. Hopefully you'll be able to build one of these in about 10 minutes uh, and I, it is certainly better than uh, to use one of these masks with a patient uh, than not to have anything to use at all. Uh, I Hopefully this will address the critical national shortage of these masks and provide providers with op an option to protect themselves uh, from this very infectious pandemic. Uh, if you like this video, please like the video, 
uh, below on YouTube. Uh, feel free to send me an email uh, if you have any comments. Uh, I do appreciate you watching this, and I hope everyone out there will be safe, and uh, hopefully this device will help protect you from the COVID-19 virus. Thank you very much.